All that shortly, but first to some breaking developments coming in right at the top of this edition. Pakistan's Supreme Court has ordered ex-Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif's removal as head of his political party. Pakistan's Supreme Court has ruled that a disqualified person cannot head a political party. That's a huge snub coming in for uh, ex-Pakistan uh, Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. Uh, this after the Supreme Court of Pakistan has ordered ex-Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif's removal as the head of his political party. Now, what the Supreme Court has stated is that a disqualified person cannot head a political party. Remember, Nawaz Sharif was disqualified uh, in the light of uh, the graft case against him, uh, which also meant that Nawaz Sharif now cannot head a political party in the latest order that's been given out by Pakistan's top court. Joining us from Karachi this evening is Shahzeb Gilani, a senior journalist. Good evening, sir. First up, if you can uh, bring us up to speed with what Pakistan's Supreme Court has stated. Well, the decision by a three-member bench, headed by the Chief Justice Sarkid Mishar, and uh, essentially the court has said that Nawaz Sharif uh, is not qualified to be the party head of uh, Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz. Uh, and decisions he has taken in the last uh, couple of months as a party head uh, are null and void. Now, the Supreme Court's decision was expected because uh, the way the court uh, has been behaving uh, in the last uh, eight, nine months and the remarks they've been making everyone in Pakistan, uh, that this would be the decision. Uh, now, with this uh, uh, decision, there are more questions that are being asked today about the future uh, of upcoming Senate elections, because remember on March 3rd, there's, uh, there's, there's, there are elections taking place for the Senate. Nawaz Sharif has awarded uh, party tickets to uh, candidates that he would like to see as, uh, as senators. But the court has uh, said his decision to award those party tickets is null and void. So questions are being asked whether elections will take place or not. Uh, um, we are waiting for a detailed judgment to, to really understand uh, the implications of this decision. Right, sir. But as of now, you're, uh, you're telling us uh, what uh, does seem to be a landmark judgment, also a huge setback for Nawaz Sharif. Uh, all the decisions taken by him ever since his disqualification as the head of the party stand null and void? Uh, yes, that's what the, the initial report suggests. The, the decisions he's taken as a party head in the last few months uh, are null and void. Okay. Uh, now, we know that uh, the court has been really tough on Nawaz Sharif, uh, but we've seen that he's been holding public rallies across the country, and he's painting himself as a victim of uh, a deeper conspiracy to, re to remove him from power under allegations of corruption. He's saying that no corruption has, uh, has been proved, uh, and he's being targeted uh, by, uh, by powers that be. And his narrative is apparently doing really well in Punjab. Uh, his party has uh, won uh, buy polls in the last couple of months. Uh, their vote bank has increased. Uh, so he feels that the more they try to target him and try to, uh, uh, and try to victimize him, the more support he will gain. His eyes are on the upcoming general election, which will most likely take place in July or August. Right. Uh, and he believes that the more he's targeted, there will be more sympathy, public sympathy for him and his party. Before we let you go, sir, what's your making of what this really means for Nawaz Sharif's political career? He is a man who, he is a leader who has been trying to mobilize support ever since and in spite of his disqualification as well. But this latest ruling, where does it really leave his political career? Well, I mean, whether we like it or not, the fact is that uh, political parties in this part of the world, in India and Pakistan, are effectively run by personalities. Everything revolves around the, the party head. So whether he is uh, disqualified as party head is uh, not really relevant in real terms because he will continue to call the shots.
okay. uh, in terms of uh, whatever decisions are made for for election and party ticket and so on. His, his signature will not be there. Stamp will not be there. So his party has been saying again and again that we are going to go uh, in people's court uh, in the elections uh, under his name and his picture uh, will be all over the election campaign and they want to see him vindicated through popular vote. They are saying that our institutions like judiciary, like the army uh, and parts of media are playing a dirty game and right. trying to victimize him. He's a three-time minister. He still has a strong power base in Punjab and other parts of Pakistan. So this party is saying uh, that this can only be settled through popular vote. So a huge blow nonetheless for uh, ex-Prime Minister of Pakistan, Nawaz Sharif, after he was disqualified in the Panama Papers case. Uh, the Pakistan Supreme Court now ruling that he can no longer also head his party, PML. And we're going to leave it there for the moment, Mr. Gilani. Appreciate you joining us with those perspectives.